In other news this morning, the Agricultural Development Bank, ADB, has debunked claims that it is shifting to real estate development. According to the general manager for agribusiness at ADB, Kwame Isidu Atrams, the bank has invested about 600 million cities in the agri sector. Some farmers allege that banks are not granting them loans. According to them, some banks deny them outright, whereas others drag the application process. Agricultural Development Bank, ADB, is one of the banks mentioned by the farmers. In response to the claims, General Manager for Agribusiness at ADB, Kwame Esiedu Atrams, emphatically stated that claims that the bank is shifting to real estate development is false. It is uh, most pathetic to hear that uh, a farmer would claim that the Agricultural Development Bank would deny him credit and uh, indicate to him that if he were into real estate, he would stand a better chance of uh, financing. And that, I dare say, is a palpable falsity. It isn't true. It isn't true because, yes, ADB is a universal bank, and therefore we do everything banking. We, we finance all... Uh, players within the, the, all the sectors. However, it is an agricultural bank, with a universal bank with an agricultural focus. And therefore, our priority areas are into the agrid value chains, right? And given that that is a priority, as of now, as we speak, we have over 600, close to 600 million uh, invested in agriculture in Ghana. Meanwhile, Ghana Incentive-Based Risk Sharing System for Agricultural Lending, an institution responsible for guaranteeing financial institutions against agricultural loans, has advised farmers to get basic knowledge about the loan they apply for and the banks they go to, according to senior agribusiness specialist at Gesal, Tichis Raha. The farmers go with unrealistic proposals, hence making it difficult for the banks to support them. They have to understand the requirements of the bank. Because some of these uh, uh, challenges of farmers not accessing credit normally is due to the fact that the farmers who are on the demand side also don't understand the requirements of, of these financial institutions. And as a result, they send proposals that are not able to meet the requirements of these the, uh, financial institutions. And that's all in business for now. The news continues after the break.